Hey everybody, I'm just sitting in the sun and I thought I'm ready to start doing my morning sunshines again. I didn't really like stop. I just, I've been hurting. You know, I've been through some things. I've been laughing and I've been having a good time too. I've, I've, I've been healing. I've been restoring. I've been reviving. I've been renewing. I've been reading. I've been resting. I've been trusting. I've been on purpose thinking about me. <laughs> on purpose making choices that sound like, okay, Vaughn, what do you want? That's what I've been getting used to doing. And that takes courage. I don't know, some people, it doesn't. Maybe that's just how you roll. And I mean, put that energy on somebody you know. But most of us who are called leaders, and that's not to disparage you if you are not a leader because every leader needs a sincere and genuine follower. And it it's the magic. I hope that makes sense. But anyway, um, and you know, you feel that you need to get used to taking care of your thinking about and making decisions that have everything to do with you <laughs> and you only. So I have written four devotionals called the morning out of the morning sunshine series. Um, because I said, God, all of this is happening. I got my heart broke twice last year. And then for Christmas, I had COVID. <laughs> um, don't laugh. I mean, laugh. It was funny. But you know what I've got? I, you know what I've gotten? I've gotten the courage to say no. You know, I don't want this or that in my life. And if it involved removing myself from the presence of someone, then, you know, that was hard. But it was what needed to happen I don't like hurting people's feelings but I had to get to where I'm willing to not sacrifice myself in the name of not hurting people's feelings and I tell my children that all the time anyway you know it's important and when you spend time the more time you spend receiving God's love allowing it to shine on you and pour into you, the more you get good at thinking about, well, let me pour into myself. And anybody who is actively pouring into themselves in the name of receiving God's love will always shine that out into the world. And it's a bright and beautiful light. Let your light therefore shine before men so that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So indeed it is about us and how we shine out. And that's not putting you in the box. I mean, be you. When you wake up, God loves you and that's all that matters. You know, and that's not somebody's license to ill, but that is somebody's permission to be themselves and be good with it. Hallelujah. Anyway, I've been doing that too. I've been allowing myself to be myself, whatever that looks like at whatever time and wherever I am within reason and being thoughtful but making choices that affect me and so today I just want to pour some sunshine and say I'm praying that God is making it clear your vision for your life I am praying that he is removing obstacles people things thoughts memories, grief, trauma from your heart, your life, and your mind so that you may fearlessly treat yourself because you deserve the best. And I am praying that truly all your dreams come true. Oh, and the name of the books are Faith Forward, um, The Position of Purpose, and Don't Let Go of your hope in God and what's the fourth one? Oh my God the um the posture of belief that's a booger so I wrote all of these as I learned it for myself 
Like, I need to be able to believe again. Because church hurt will knock you off your feet. But the Lord says, for the Lord is my confidence and he shall keep my feet from being taken. So, you know, my feet weren't taken. But I hated church. And today was the first day was the first Sunday after last where I missed church. I just didn't feel well and I missed it. I haven't missed church, I don't know, seven, eight years. And I loved it. It was banging. Pastor was in the zone and I just could throw chairs and Bibles and go snatch other people's Bibles and throw them at the praise team. Okay? But anyway, and including the music musicians. <laughs> oh, it's six minutes. Take a fresh show on, uh, uh, on. But um, may God bless us all and, and restore us to our journey and purpose so that we can be at peace with exactly where he has us. In Jesus' name, I pray that. Amen. Don't forget to be on the lookout for those and connect with me. We have something big going on with the Dear Sis Experience. So if you want to be a part of that in any capacity, let them be a Noah. Mwah!